performance detail tool allows you to create events. Events are something that changes the characteristics of the performers on any given count of the production. First, we must select the performers that we want to change the event. Then, we must change the count that we want the event to occur on. So, say we want to have an event occur on count 4. Once we create an event, that event carries forward until we change that characteristic again later on. Here I'll just give you a quick overview of some of the options that we have in the performance detail tool. We can change the equipment of our performers. We can change the uniform. We can change the drum color if we are wearing drums. And if we are a color guard member, we can change our flag. We can change our upper body facing, which can also be done from the rotation widget. We can change our facing type, which relates to which direction we are going when we are marching. We can also add in actions. We want our performers to play, or we want to give a horn pop. We can also change our lower body facing if we are at a halt. Note that the lower body facing is relative to the upper body facing. Step timing is a different event as it only works for the current set. And we can also change our marching style. Drummers default to crabbing, whereas everyone else defaults to the glide step. You can also edit events by going into the event editor at the bottom of the timeline. Click the expand for event editor button and you can see all the events that we have added. You can click and drag on an event to move it. You can also drag and select multiple events and press the delete button to get rid of them. By dragging our blue and purple markers, we can create an event that spans multiple counts. For example, if I want to create a horn up event in a ripple, I drive the blue event, the blue marker to set one and the purple marker to set two, and then I select the playing animation, apply. Now as you play it, you see that you get a ripple. 